free in Havana. Day free in Havana is, is Monday. Yesterday we haven't done much vlogging because we both were really, really tired. Straight after dinner we went back to casa, even though we've missed what well, I'm sure it was a great party. I'm well rested, ready for another another week. Just having a little smoke. Um, I'm smoking the H. Upman Magnum 46 from 2005. Um, Slava is uh, enjoying a custom roll and a bit of uh, internet. He just needs to read the news about uh, Trump. Just gonna finish coffee, get our accreditations for the festival. And then we're going to Humidores Habana. That cigar is really good. An absolute chaos at the Casa Partega. Everyone are here today to get their accreditation. Our driver is going to be here in 30 minutes and we head off to Humidores Habana. Over here is usually freezing, it's absolutely boiling hot in here. I'm just going to stand outside and finish my smoke out there. Looks like we just came in in the wrong time. The same place was full and now it's absolutely empty. From this point on, we roll in the mark. And if it's unavailable, then we drive to the Utico. Ernesto, how are you? Great to see you. Muy bien, muy bien. So first we're gonna start at the um, old factory where everything started and wait till you see that place. It's absolutely magical. To me, that's the essence of Cuba. Amazing humidors out of recycled wood. It just throws you, all you need is your talent. This is where it all started, here in this in the basement of, the, of this building. Please, mind your head. Yeah, I know. I like to see the, uh, the door after. Beautiful. The most beautiful humidor in the world uh, has been sold. I can't show it to you. The size of it. You would have to put your kids to live on the street and you put that humidor in their bedroom. It's absolutely massive. It can accommodate a thousand cigars. It's a replica of, uh, of a Bacardi building and it's absolutely stunning. The most beautiful piece I've ever seen. It took them almost a year to produce. So just to give you an, a, an idea, maybe I can take a couple of snaps of the details just to show you the precision of work they do. Everything is made by hand, nothing is made by the machine and the details in them are absolutely stunning. This is how we got this place. This is, these are the pictures of how this boiler room was at the time we got it. The boiler room of the laundromat. All the you know, fine, fine sanding of the product is done by hand here. And the marketry, the inlay product is fully handmade and is assembled here as well. We show it because in the whole world this this is usually produced by a machine and equipment. We do it as it used to be in the beginning. Very artisanal. Pieces of wood that you play for a pattern with. Después se hila, pum, then you just y sale cut it and then you have this here. And then the assembly over there, as you can see, look at this lid. Put your hand, you see, they're assembled to the detail. It is very hard work because you need to make it one side for, to follow the pattern in every space. It takes a lot of work. Um, you see, we have this is the old wood over here, uh, but it's a colonial house. The roof from the inside also. This it's amazing. Wow. Yeah, right. wow. yeah. Okay, so 
Me and my son, we just got back from Humidoro Sabana. It was amazing. We met Ernesto, who is the, uh, the owner, and he took us through the whole trip. Um, how did he start and how is it now and what did he go through and what is his philosophy of the art and business. And it's, it's absolutely stunning. It's amazing. There's a video which Tomas took. I've asked him one question. I asked him the question, why did he start doing the humidors? And the answer was mind-blowing. It's a very nice story to hear. Yeah. We're not going to include the whole interview in, um, in this video, but you can find the link. At the end of the video, there's going to be a link to the whole interview, simply because the whole um, speech is really long, and I don't want to cut any of it. Every single bit what Ernesto said makes sense, and I don't want to miss anything. Uh, I don't want you guys to miss a single word he said. It's an uh, amazing story. It's an absolutely amazing story. As I was saying to you when we were going in, um, you don't need much. You just need your talent. Uh, they've made their best humidors out of recycled furniture. They've been produced from what most people would consider rubbish. I think I'll just leave all that to Ernesto to explain. It's, uh, it's a much nicer story. Um, and it deserves to be told. We are at one of the my favorite restaurants, uh, not far away from our flat, Mediterranean Havana. I was starting to almost we come in now, but not that we are hungry. Yeah, I'm I mean, starving. Slavo is smoking punch. Uh, you cannot see it because because it has a golden. Is it aluminium foil? Original edition, 2013, which was given to me as a a surprise slash gift from Hunters and Franco for it was either the Masters of Havana or the Havana Sommelier, I don't remember which one because I received the second box as well and uh, out of 10 cigars this is the last one I have So can you do the magic? Yeah, I know, you sound like a new line, you know. <laughs> Key. I go with Keith, but I go with you know, all these, all these Toronto guys, Frank and Gary No, I can't, by the way. And they say, oh, 